Well, the day has finally come. We are getting ready to paint. I'm Taryn, this is Logan, and this is Max. Our life rarely goes as planned, and this story is no different. But we are determined to rebuild our beautiful steel boat, even stronger than she was before. And we're bringing you along with us. Um, it's a lot later in the day than we expected. It's like four o'clock, but that was because I got a piece of metal in my eye two days ago and my eye was still not doing well enough this morning for me to be here working. So I napped and now it's feeling good enough to be out here. It's definitely not 100%. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of bloodshot, so sorry about that. But I'm feeling good enough to suit up and paint. So Logan's just finishing cleaning. I'm getting all of our paint gear together and I'll bring it up onto the boat. And then we got an acetone and then we're gonna paint. We're gonna try to get the first coat of paint at least on the V-Birth today. And then hopefully put a second coat on tomorrow morning, but we'll see how far we get. Might end up being a late night. With the new extraction fan installed, we went about acetoning all the areas that needed to be painted. And then got ready to paint. Cloverdale's Clovomastic Cold Weather two-part epoxy primer system for this job, which is the same paint we used in the chain locker. We're finally at the point where we're ready to start mixing paint. You stressed? A little bit, yep. Okay, got to suit up and crack those open. Do you have a screwdriver for cracking those open? I don't know. Day number two of painting, so we're just getting ready to start that. Um, last time, the last day we were here painting, we got to the end of the head in the galley. So we have the rest of the main cabin and then the aft cabin left to paint. So we just need to acetone that this morning and then get all suited up and then we can start painting. <laughs> We're gonna put a second coat on a bunch of the stuff that we did last time, but not all of it. So um, Logan painted over top of a bunch of the new, or the old black paint with new paint. And we're not gonna paint over any of the stuff that had black paint on it. We're just gonna like recut in the edges with more paint. So we're gonna do that um, through everything that we did the other day. And then we're gonna continue on all the way through the boat. So we'll have two coats on everything that we did the other day and then we'll have our first coat on the rest of the boat. And then tomorrow we'll put a third coat on the stuff that we did the other day and a second coat on the rest and then the day after we'll put a third coat on the rest and then we should be done for the interior. And it'll be ready for foam after that which is awesome. It'll be really good to get some insulation in there and then we can start putting things back together like putting the wood back together and actually, you know, getting a home again. So that'll be great. Um, yeah, really excited to be almost done with all that and to know that all of the hard work that we put into the boat is actually starting to pay off because we're getting closer to the end. And all that is left after this is smaller projects. So. Awesome. We mix 
objects die into the paint on the second day so we could tell the difference between each coat. So the second coat of paint is on. It took us, I don't know, two and a half hours to paint that second coat. So that's not too bad. But man, are those spaces tight and I cannot wait to be done and not have to shove myself into little cabinets ever again. That would be, that would be amazing. Ooh. <laughs> How's it feel to have that second coat done? Good. First coat on half of it. Mm second on the other. It's warmed up enough now that it's like five degrees or something outside and we can, the heater doesn't run so much so hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can conserve some fuel. So in order for tomorrow to work we have to get fuel and we also have to get paint because we just ran out of paint which is not too bad. We got that locker painted with like four coats on it and the interior with one and a half coats on it before we ran out of paint, so that's pretty good. So we're gonna go grab some more paint and then we'll be all good to go tomorrow. All right, we're back here for day number three of painting. As you can probably hear, it is absolutely pouring rain. It's probably about 95%, maybe 100% even humidity outside right now, but inside the tent, we only have 65% humidity, which is perfect. We need below 85 to paint, so we're in good shape. Um, also, our heater doesn't have a big enough tank to keep a lot of fuel in it, but luckily that stayed running all night, so the tarp, or the, sorry, the tent is already warm enough. So all we gotta do is suit up, mix some paint, and start painting, which is very exciting. This will be the last coat on the front of the boat, and then there will just be like a half coat left to go on the back of the boat. Well, the aft part of the boat. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, Logan especially I think is going to be very excited for today to be finished because then he doesn't have to paint in the V-berth anymore which is pretty uncomfortable compared to the rest of the boat. So excited for that. The only thing that uh, I'm not excited for is then we have to spray foam it. Yeah, but that's not today. No <laughs> spray foam today. So let's get to work.
we've made it to the last day for interior painting and we're both very excited about it. So today it's just bee painting and I'm just painting like the aft part of the boat and the main cabin. So it should only be about an hour painting and then we should be done and we can move on to the next project. It's very exciting to have this done because it feels like we're really getting somewhere on the boat. Yesterday after we finished painting <laughs> We drove to Nanaimo and we bought the spray foam kits for insulating the interior of the boat. Yeah, so hopefully those work out and then we can actually start putting wood back on things and putting the boat back together. So once this paint is done and cured, that'll be one of the next projects coming after that, right? Spray foam! Woo! Woo! Not looking forward to that, but I am looking forward to being done. Yes. And this is just like in the cabin of the boat like we still have the uh, aft lockers to do and the port settee no port our gear storage I went super blue on that last coat, just because I wanted to. And an extra big thank you to our patrons for helping to keep us focused and giving us lots of feedback through all of these projects. We really appreciate all of you.